Hey guys, and welcome to another Makeup Talks. Woo! I got my little sheep friend with me. She was actually, or he, hmm, he'll be a he. He was actually a friend for my sister. No, he was actually a gift for my sister for Christmas time, and she also has one, and so does my other sister, Nikki. So we all have one, and they're black sheep. You know, because we feel like the black sheep of the family. We're the only ones that are kind of creative in our, in our entire family. This week I decided to change the topic a little bit and talk about something that's a little bit more... Um, it's still makeup related, but it's a little different, you know? It's about photography. If you haven't checked my other sites yet, um, I do have a Pinterest and that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. The last model I shot was Mike Anderson and he's more like a fitness instructor. He's been a model for a long time as well and it was a pleasure working with him, but I thought it would be kind of cool to show you a couple of photos and just break down how I was able to get the effect in the photos through makeup. So most of the photos, all of them, you know, for the face, I use very, very light foundation. I choose to use for photography like this, something that's a little bit more skin-like, like the face and body um, foundation by MAC. So this is what my face and body looks like. I just squeezed it into this, you know. This is a container thing I got from Daiso. Um, if you're not familiar with Daiso, it's an amazing store where you can get things for 150. This is one of the things and I just thought it was the coolest thing because it's a makeup container, you know, and it's like one of those airless pumps. So you just put your foundation there and you can travel with it wherever you want to go. It fits about less than three ounces, so it's plain safe. Let's get back on track to the photo. So I use this on the face as foundation, you know, just very clean, clear. The point I think of shooting men basically is just to make them not look like they got a beat face. Like you want to make sure that they look, you know, they look real and you want to make sure that you see the skin through it. I did put a little bit of concealer in just a couple of spots, but you want to use it very, very sparingly. I also did a little bit of bronzing with a Laura Mercier matte bronzer, so it was very, 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 you know, tiny amount, just on the cheekbones. I like to bring it all the way down here just to create this nice V shape, a little bit on the forehead if, if needed, and also to contour the nose, especially if you're working with heavy, heavy lighting. It's really good to just contour the nose and make sure that the shape appears there. So for the mascara, just use this, you know, you have a lot of control of what, you know, how much you're going to put on. Obviously, I just put a little bit just because I want to darken the lashes. But if you want something more dramatic, you definitely can, you know, we'll show up on camera. Camera captures everything, so you got to be careful. For brows, I just used a little bit of a brow pencil. Brow pencil, kind of like this. I believe I used Laura Mercier in Warm Brunette. This one is Auburn. But um, yeah, you just kind of fill it in a little bit with this first and then you just kind of wipe it off. Obviously you want to be super, super careful because you don't want it to look like it's been drawn on at all. You just want it to look like it has a little bit of a natural shadow. A little highlighter just on the cheekbones and then a little bit right on the cupid's bow and a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And when you're working with a lot of light, you know, it actually looks pretty nice because it won't show as a highlighter. Um, you can experiment with trying to apply it heavy to see, you know, what kind of effects you get, but that's where I applied it. I also grabbed a really, really tiny smudge brush and applied it on the inner corners just to bring the eyes together a little bit. And also on the inner corner, I like to apply bronzer right on this area on men just because it helps to bring the eyes together, you know, and that actually creates a little bit more expression on the face. Uh, it's a technique that's been used for years and years and years. You'll see it in a lot of like old paintings of, you know, nudes. Uh, Michelangelo uses this technique a lot where it's really, really dark just on the inner corner and it helps to bring the face together. It also helps to give a little bit more expression to the face. Expression to the face. All right, so that was Makeup Talks for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these videos where I just kind of talk about, you know, photography techniques and makeup, let me know. I can make more of them and I can go through the photos that I have on my Pinterest if you have any questions. And yeah, I have a lot of fun actually doing makeup for photos because it's a little bit different. You know, there's other techniques and that's it. I'll see you guys next week with another video.